Hey, it's me, Cagehead. I got a little upgrade. Got rid of the cage. Hey, um, so, I don't know if you guys know yet. I feel like you do, but I'm not sure if I told you. But I do have this ability. I can go forward and backward in time, but it's only limited to this timeline. I know another guy who can see future and past of other timelines, but he's not available right now, courtesy of Boost. Hate that guy. Anyways, um, little thing about the future. It's not looking good. As you can see, I'm in the top of Genesis house. It's completely vacant. He's gone. Nowhere to be found. This, this place is in a perpetual state of night, and there's no electricity. You see, there's no trace of anyone. No fat boy genius, no boost, thank God. No Dr. Strobel. No. There's no one. It's a state of perpetual night. Everyone's gone. There's only me left. I stand alone at the end of it all. <sighs> I don't know what caused this, and it's scaring me. I usually know just about everything. I was with the Old Order when they created the lore book back in the 1500s. But, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in all of my 863 years of life, have I, uh, there's, oh my God. This is unprecedented. I never thought in all of my life that this would happen. This is the end. This is what it looks like. I don't know how to feel about it. And the thing is, it's gotta do. It's gotta have to do something with Boost and Fatboy Genius. I mean, what with um, Mega Millionaire? Well, now he's Dylan Smith, but we don't go into that anymore. The IMTG operation. Uh. Now. It's so crazy, I don't even know what to say anymore. This place, the people, it's a remnant of what it once was. There's nothing left. It's all because of that stupid machine that they built. They got curious. They didn't need to get curious. They should have known to not go dabbling with the timeline. I mean, I feel like whenever Boost was banished for four months into that dark realm, I feel like that was punishment from the universe itself because he went tampering with time. But then again, he got out of that somehow. He broke out. He went to Fatboy Genius. Fatboy Genius took him to Dr. Strobel. And now... I'm talking about the present now, but God, whatever Fat Boy Genius Boost, Dr. Strobel, Renegade, whatever they did, it screwed up a lot. And they're not even around to fix it because they're gone too. Now, I don't know if they got raptured as well or if they just skedaddled whenever things went south. But. I really got to get to the bottom of this. I guess the future of the earth is next to take. I've never really been the good guy. Never been the bad guy either. But I really got to pick a side now. And I don't know who to trust. Because you see. I'm scared. I've said this. I said this but I'm scared. I've never been scared. But. The lore book says nothing about this. Normally, the lore book has all it can envelop all patterns of time. The lore book knows all. 
But for some reason, this timeline, the true timeline, the lore book cannot grasp it. Just last week, the lore book stopped updating. It stopped completely. There's not, there hasn't been a single update. And all the while, for four months, Fatboy Genius stops, load, stops uploading. I don't know where he went. But then all of a sudden, he comes back, and all of a sudden, Boost and Dr. Shovel and Renegade come back all at the same time. He's got something to do with this. <sighs> Listen, I don't expect you to believe me. Not one bit. But you have to. You really have to for the sake of the universe. I can't shake it, this feeling. They did something horrible. And they know it. And I don't think they have an intention to fix it. So I guess what I'm asking is pick a side. Fatboy Genius. Probably gonna screw up time. Probably already have. Look around you. Or me. I, I have to think. I'll see you sometime later.